Hey, Marty here. Welcome to the Sublime to the Ridiculous Video Blog Edition. Boom. Um, why am I doing this at 4 o'clock on a Sunday morning? Because what else do you do at 4 o'clock on a Sunday morning? Sleep? A couple of quick stories about me, Grandpa Joe. He was a good worker. Uh, he's proud to say he always bragged that even during the Great Depression, he never went more than two weeks without a job. And that proves two things. If you're willing to work, you can find work. And if you're willing to work and are good at it, people will look for you to work for them. He was proud of his work ethic. I remember one time him and a buddy, um, I'll call this buddy, I'll call his buddy Cloyce, just to give him a name, decided they were going to have a contest to see who could work the longest. So they both clocked into whatever job they had at the time and proceeded to pull 61 hour shifts consecutively. Whoever gave up first would lose the bet. Well, of course, after 61 hours, the shop foreman said, as he should have done way before 61 hours had passed, get the hell out of here. You're both crazy. So they agreed it was a tie. They could both work hard and long. Um, another time, also during the Great Depression, uh, Joe was working as a welder someplace. Um, and he got an offer from another guy uh, to go to work for him for a quarter an hour or more. So Joe takes the job and he goes back to gather his gear from his old employer. And the old employer says, so you're leaving me, Joe? Yep. Joe, are you telling me you would leave me for a quarter, an hour? Joe looked at him and said, hell, I'd leave you for a nickel an hour. <laughs> of course, nickels were pretty big in the Depression, but quarters were bigger. Anyway, that's my quick tales this morning. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, share if you really like to, comment in the comments menu. In the meantime, this is Marty going from the sublime to the ridiculous. 61-hour shifts. I'd never do that, would you? <laughs>